All right, gents, welcome back to Tactical Rifleman. Carl here. We're going to talk about night vision. Uh, particularly, we're going to talk about some binoculars I like to wear on my helmet. You know the deal. If you like the video, uh, click subscribe and click that little um, chime button, the little bell, because that'll uh, send you notifications whenever we put out a new video. That's every Friday. New video every Friday. Tuesdays, we have Tactical Tuesday. We put some other stuff out there. All right, but I want to get to these uh, nods. We get a lot of questions about... Uh, the battery box on the back of my helmet, or um, what nods you prefer, this, that, and the other, because you'll see me wearing a monocular a lot, right? If I'm going through the woods, doing whatever, traveling somewhere, I always carry, I always carry night vision, uh, but it'll usually just be a monocular. That said, if you're gonna be doing dedicated combat ops, rolling around, doing an assault, uh, whether you're vehicle mounted, coming off the helicopters, whatever it is, Binoculars are always going to be the better way to go. They're going to give you a, a wider field of view. If you're doing stuff up close in a way, you can have one set focused up close so that you can read the map, read different things. You can have the other one set for further distance, right? So in other words, target in focus and those sights in focus also. All right, so the one I want to talk about today is this is the Armor Sight by Flare uh, BMVD binocular night vision device, BMVD, all right? Now this one right here, the cool part about it is it's got a 51, uh, 51 degree field of view. That doesn't mean a lot to you guys, all right? Um, most of your standard PVS 14s, PVS 7s, they have a much narrower uh, field of view, all right? So what this does is now when you're scanning that room, when you come into that room and you're scanning, you're gonna pick up that bad guy that many degrees sooner that's going to get you faster on the gun. So that right there is just an awesome selling point. They've got all the different helmet mounts. So whether you're using a standard Wilcox mount or um, any other kind of helmet mount bracket, it's got all the little conversions. So if you've already got the old PVS-14 with the big bayonet mount, whatever it is, that's fine. We're not saying you've got to buy whole new mounting brackets and stuff. You just get the, you get the little piece that you need and then you attach it on top of the night vision device, four screws, and you're golden. All right, it's uh, waterproof, so if it's raining, you got uh, all your drizzle coming down on you, uh, no big deal. You drop it in the mud, no big deal. Now, as far as batteries go, one of the awesome things I love about this thing is you're looking at getting 20 hours, that's, all, that's more than a whole night, off of a AA battery. The cool part though is it also takes CR123s, the, the lithium batteries. How do you take both? Those are two different shapes. How you do it is I can pull out my AA battery here. Now you notice inside the lid there's an insert. That insert you can unscrew and turn it around and then what you can do is take that CR123 battery out of a, another flashlight or whatever it is you have turn that cap around, screw it back on, and now you're rocking off of a completely different type of battery. What that does is it allows you to find batteries in different places. Now for me, it worked in the opposite direction. I love running CR123s, and I was out on a hog hunt in uh, some back town in Texas, in America, and I started running out of CR123s. I would have figured, it's America. Surely I can get CR123s. This isn't New York. This isn't California. This is America. I couldn't find CR123s for nothing. Fortunately, turn the cap around. Now I can run double A's. And brother, you can find double A batteries in Ethiopia. You can find double A's in California. All right? You can find them everywhere. So anyways, uh, for me, I really like that. All right? uh, mounting it on the helmet. And again, they'll take, uh, they'll take the Wilcox mounts best mounts on the planet, by the way, are the Wilcox ones. Now, the cool part is when you throw this thing up, they automatically turn off, so you're not running around with two green bunny ears over your head. But the other cool part about it is even when you have it down, let's say you want to bring your gun up and you only want to shoot with one eye, all right? You want to bring your, your gun up under this one. I can actually throw that one up. It'll automatically turn off, and this one over here will still stay running. Right? If I just flip that one up this way, it'll turn off. 
All right, so I don't have to flip it all the way up by pushing the button and swinging them up onto my helmet. All right, so if I flip them up this way, they're both turned off as I'm not running around with uh, lights on top of my head. All right, now, as far as uh, lights coming out on the side, you've got a manual gain switch right here so you can dim them so you're not having this big glow go down the side of your face. It does have an uh, active IR illuminator, so you go one more click past on. Uh, you've got to pull it out to get there. You'll see a little red light pop up at, uh, it's about two o'clock inside each tube. You'll see that little uh, red LED. That lets you know that that IR illuminator is working. The other thing it does is if those LEDs turn green, it reminds you that, hey, I've, I've got too much light hitting it and you're gonna damage your tubes. No big deal, flip those day caps back on, turn off your nods, whatever. Also, if they start blinking red, it lets you know that your batteries are starting to go dead. So, but again, you got 20 hours on it. 20 hours, guys, that's, that's a lot of battery life. Now, let's say 20 hours is not long enough for you. Let's say you're sitting, you're, let's say you're a, a cop out doing surveillance, uh, doing a stakeout somewhere, and you're just using them like a set of binoculars uh, while you're sitting there observing, you can add a battery pack, just like I do on the back of my helmets, and it will actually mount right here, right up on top. And now you've just increased this thing up to 80 hours of battery life from just what you have inside your battery box. Now the battery box can take double A's, or it can take CR123s. It's the same thing. It's a great, great design. Um, you can... Toggle, when your batteries start going dead, toggle over to the other side. It's instantaneous. Your, your nods don't turn off. You can start running off of those batteries and then swap these out. Put new batteries in. Your nods have stayed running the whole time. The, the concept of the battery pack was done for helicopter pilots so they don't ever have to pull off their helmet and start swapping batteries. Reach up behind your helmet, throw the toggle switch in the opposite direction, and now you've got a fresh new set of batteries. So that's why I like running a battery box. The other thing is the battery box helps offset the weight of those, nog those uh, nods up on the front of your head so you don't get uh, your neck fatigued quite as bad. Now, I, I mentioned doing surveillance with this thing. Uh, yeah, you can sit there, put the little lanyard around it, hang it on the front of your neck, and uh, works good. Sometimes you want to see a little bit closer. What I'm doing is quickly mounting these IR uh, 3X magnifiers. That's it, gents. I now have 3X magnification on this thing. 3X. Right? At night, that's a big deal. That brings you, that's that much further away you get to stay from that meth lab or that, that crack house and you're still able to observe. It's that much further away you can be from the deer or the coyotes or the hogs you're hunting or at least spotting, scouting for, without you compromising your position. So you're still able to gather all that intel without getting that close, right? Um, they'll pick up your IR illuminators, all that stuff. That they're, it's, a, it's a good setup, gents. It, it really is. I can't say enough about it. So uh, when you start seeing some of our shooting videos, me running nods on my helmets, uh, that's what I'm gonna be using. It's the Armorsight by FLIR BMVD. Uh, 51 degree field of view. Dude, they're bomb proof. They're awesome. So um, anyways, questions and comments below. Uh, you like the shirts, check them out. The button at the end of the website. Thanks for all the support. I'll see you out there on the range. Y'all take care. Shoot straight. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.